Hi, I'm Stephanie Cathan. And first, let me thank you so much for joining me in this Master Key to Success video series where I am sharing the wisdom of Napoleon Hill, who has um, made such a huge impact on my life and the direction that it went. And I have just been inspired to um, share this with the world, and I'm very, very grateful that you are a part of it. So thank you very much. This is the first session, and the reason that it is in this atmosphere uh, is because I really wanted to bring you the closeness and the environment that I believed um, was there between Andrew Carnegie and Napoleon Hill when they very first had this conversation. And many of you aren't familiar with Napoleon Hill or Andrew Carnegie, and I invite you to um, do a little bit of research and look through the history, and I think it will speak for itself. Um, with that said, I would like to um, bring forth this information to you. Now, my understanding is that uh, Andrew Carnegie and Napoleon Hill were connected because Andrew Carnegie approached Napoleon Hill and asked him to spend over 20 years of his life creating a philosophy of personal achievement and personal success. And Napoleon Hill was a young man and um, he faced much criticism from his family and friends when he took on um, this role and he did do it and he spent years interviewing and studying and researching and this is all history. Well, he was nervous in the beginning and he went to Mr. Carnegie and was about to tell him that I think you chose the wrong guy um, because of my age, because of my lack of finances, because of my lack of education. And it was at that point that Mr. Carnegie gave Napoleon Hill a clue of the laws of the universe that are stronger than any poverty or any lack of education or anything else that you may feel you are missing. And so we're gonna go into that a little bit. Um, one of the things that Mr. Carnegie said was that each person comes to this earth with them with the equivalent of two sealed envelopes. And the first envelope is marked riches you may enjoy when you make the decision to control and direct your own mind to whatever ends that you desire. And I have here a list of the things in that sealed envelope. One, sound health. Two, peace of mind. Three, a labor of love of your own choice. Four, freedom from fear and worry. Five, a positive mental attitude. And six, material riches of your own choice and quantity. And in the second sealed envelope, marked the prices one must pay for neglecting to control and direct their own mind, one, ill health, two, fear and worry, three, indecision and doubt, four, frustration and discouragement throughout life, five, poverty and want, and six, a whole slew of ne negative emotions such as envy, greed, jealousy, anger, hatred, and superstition. Now, this information going to Napoleon Hill was life-changing. It was life-changing for him, and I'm so grateful that he spent all of those years researching and creating this science of success philosophy and bringing to the world the principles that you can use to create your own ticket in life. It's absolutely changed my life, and I'm hoping that it will help you to change yours as well. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is get a notebook and on the first page of your notebook I'd like you to write down what success means to you, what you would like your life to look like within the next three years. I know three years sounds like a long time, it's really not. What's the alternative? Doing what you're doing for the next three years and not being any further ahead. So
So just check it out. Get a 59 cent notebook. Write down exactly what you would like your life to look like within three years in all areas. And on the second page of your notebook, I'd like you to write down what you're going to give for this that you want from life. What are you going to provide? What service or product or what personal thing are you going to do for the world? What is it that you're going to bring forth in return for what you're asking out of life? I want you to memorize each of those statements and then read them every day for 30 days and you're going to be surprised at what this is going to do for you and also it's not costing you anything so try it. You may find that you're very close to the master key yourself. Um, I would like to share this personal experience with you. Uh, when I took the first steps to this, I recorded in journals all the time. I wrote down everything. I wrote it and what happened was all of a sudden I didn't just have journals anymore. I had history. I had evidence. And I had something that I could look back on and go, wow, remember when I wanted this? And wow, this is when it happened. It's a great way for you to really motivate yourself to record your own evidence as you go along. And what it's going to provide you is all the proof that you will ever need that these principles absolutely work. So now that you have the first um, little glimpse of the Master Key to Success, what I'd like to do is tell you a few things. When you focus on what you're lacking, when you focus on your poverty, when you focus on your lack of education, when you focus on all the things that you don't have, what you're doing is you're bringing back to you that same misfortune. Focus on what you want. It's a simple shift in thinking, but it creates a big difference in your life. Focus on what it is that you want, what it is that you're working towards, what it is that you are passionate about, but don't focus on it in a way of, of what you don't want. Focus on it in what you're wanting, because that's going to be bringing to you the things that you want not the things you don't want. It's a very simple shift in thinking, but it's the first step in taking possession of the master key to success. It is my profound help that this information, uh, it's my profound goal, I'm sorry, that this information helps you. It's very important to me to share this information with you uh, and hope that even if it touches one of you, it will make a profound difference in your life and you will be able to make a profound difference in the life of others. This was our first step in the Master Key to Success. The next in the series are going to be filmed at the TSM studio. Um, they will look a little different. This very first one, I just wanted to bring you a close, intimate conversation of the power that you have in your own mind and how important it is that you begin to use that power. It is yours and it is the most gracious gift of the Creator that He, he gave to us. Mankind is the only species that has the power to control and direct their own mind to this extent, to the ends of whatever it is you desire in life. You have imagination and you have the power to create great ideas, you have the power to create great things, and you have the power to do great deeds. And it is my hope that you begin to use this power for the benefit of all. I'm Stephanie Cappen. Thank you for joining me in the Master Key to Success video series.